Hello, I'm Tom Wright, and I've written The Challenge of Acts. I've been excited by Acts ever since I started working on it many years ago, but I've seen lots of new things in it over the last decade, and I'm delighted to be able to put it into this book. I've written this book basically because I wanted to give people a sense of the large picture, rather than just dotting in and out to particular details, important though they are. So the book is divided into four chapter sections. I don't know anyone who's tried to look at acts like that before, and this is a very exciting way of doing it and seeing the big picture gradually emerging. How is this different from what I've done before? I've been struck with two things this time round. First, in the beginning of the book, Jesus joins heaven and earth in his ascension. The Spirit joins heaven and earth by coming upon the disciples. The joining of heaven and earth constitutes the church as a temple, the new temple. And that's why, not surprisingly, all the great controversies in Acts seem to be about temples, whether in Jerusalem or Athens or Ephesus or wherever. And that's really important for how we think about who we are as the church. But also because in Acts we see the great question about whether we have to obey God rather than human authorities. And while the church respects the human authorities, Often it has to remind them of their job, as we see Paul doing in particular. But actually then it's a question of what does the kingdom of God look like when meeting up with the, the authority structures of this world. I think this is a book for our time. And my hope is that it will help the reader, not just with Acts itself, with these themes and all the things that flow from them, but to get a sense of the excitement of looking at any biblical book in large scale like this, not just in half a paragraph here or a few verses there, but actually to say, what is this whole section all about? And how does the whole thing fit together? And how does it equip us as we study the first century church? How does it equip us to be the 21st century church? That is the challenge of Acts.